Thank you. And thank you, everybody, for being here today. I really appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to ask a question. How many of you know what property management is? Just by a show of hands. Okay, so a few of you. Actually, let me do this. So there's a, there's a lot about property management that people are like, oh, I didn't know you did that, or oh, I didn't know that was part of it. So that's what I'm here today is just to kind of go over my business and what we do and give you a little bit of background again about me and um, just hopefully answer some questions on what property management is and the services that we provide. So I will go ahead and get started and I have a little game for everybody so I can keep everybody awake. I want to know at the end of this, how many times I say the word property management. So you can type it in the chat when I'm done and whoever is the closest answer or the exact answer, I'm taking you out to lunch anywhere you want to go at a cabaret restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everybody needs to pay attention. Does the contest start now or did it start when you started your presentation? Good question. It starts now. Okay. okay. So uh, Tampa Bay Realty and Investment Group, that is uh, my company. We have opened it for, it'll be five years in June uh, with my sister. So my sister has been doing her own investment properties for many years and I've been doing real estate sales and property management for many years. And finally, one Easter, we were sitting around and we were like, why, why do we not work together? And it was just like an instant light bulb, like what? Yes, we should be doing this together. So that's how Tampa Bay Realty Investment Group started. So our property management services are what we're going to be talking about today. We can go to the next screen. Sorry, do I? So this is my little unit here. Um, we are a blended family. This is my husband, Stuart and I, and these are the two children that live with us now. Um, this is Dominic, he's eight, and Madison, who is 14. Get the next one. And these are our older children. So these are the ones that have left the coop, have their own little families. We have Jordan, who's 29, Justin, 29, and Manny will actually be 32 in March. And these are our seven grandkids that we have. So as far as being busy professionally, we are a very busy family. We have a lot going on and there's always something, as you know, with any child or grandchild happening and recitals and everything going on. So we are extremely busy with this big, great big family of ours. Next. So a little bit about me. Um, I was born and raised here in Tampa, um, lived in the town and country area. And uh, my husband as well, we were backyard neighbors. So we kind of grew up together um, since I was 12 and he was 14. Um, I have 25 years real estate experience. So um, as it was mentioned earlier, I did start my kind of real estate career in apartment leasing. And then once I did that, I decided to move on to bigger and broader things. Um, as you know, I am the president-elect of CABA. And if you don't know, then I'm the president-elect of CABA next year. Um, we do a lot of nonprofit organizations. Um, we do uh, support Community Food Pantry, Gigi's Playhouse, Bridging Freedom. Um, we're also members of the Kiwanis Group. Um, we also did get uh, CABA's Business of the Year in 2018. And just recently, I was surprised that I was nominated for Tampa Bay Business Journal's uh, Businesswoman of the Year. So sometime this year, we're supposed to have some big gala party about that, but I don't have any words on that yet. Next. About us, I think I already covered that a little bit, um, so we can skip that one. I started off with that one. So why hire T. Bragg? T. Bragg is an anchorman for Tampa Bay Real Estate Investment Group. And what we're really going to educate you on today is why do you need a property manager and what is a property manager? So what we try to do is we wanna maximize your profit and lower your monthly expenses. Um, we treat our clients like our family. We think that is very important. Um, we take the stress out of owning rentals. So, to, to touch on that a little bit. So when we have property management, what that means is an investor, 
because when you have real estate properties, you're now an investor and you have um, either yourself, which you don't want to do, you want to hire a property manager, but we can take care of all of the things that go into it. And I'll get into another slide a little bit later on that but we do the preventative maintenance for your home. We wanna make sure that before we even rent it out that everything is taken care of within it. So there aren't any necessarily maintenance problems that are coming up right away. Um, we are 24 seven management team. So what that means is that we do take on the calls. We have an email portal, things like that um, for your tenants to contact us. So you're not the ones getting the phone call at two o'clock in the morning that the hot water heater's gone or the AC is out. Um, we also include experts who specialize in the repairs and renovations. So we have an entire team of not just our um, employees that are with TBRAG, but we also have excellent vendors with great reviews and fair prices because we have so many properties that we manage. We get a good wholesale discount on certain things. And we are a family owned and operated company. So that is kind of important, um, we feel, when you're dealing with a property manager, especially Tampa natives that actually know the area and the expertise. Next. So this goes into the services and what we're doing. So with our tenant screening, that is probably one of the most important things because a lot of people don't want to rent out their properties. They just want to sell because they don't want to deal with the tenants or they don't want to think about dealing with what the tenants are doing in their home. So they don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to rent it out because I've heard that having tenants, they just ruin your property or they do this or, or they damage everything or they steal your appliances when they move. I mean, I've heard so many horror stories and it's like, that's completely not what happens with us. I, yes, it does happen, but not with an expert in property management skills. So our tenant screening, we are going to be doing the nationwide um, eviction search, criminal. We also now do terrorist search. Um, we're gonna be doing rental history. We're also going to be looking at your employment. And with that, it's not because of the day and age that we live in, anybody can fake a W-2 or mock up a pay stub. We're actually doing a little bit more of investigation. So also in the time that we live in, we can Google and we can do a lot of investigating on our own to make sure that these tenants are actually employed where they say, the person of contact actually does work for the company. So we go a little bit further into just accepting someone giving us paper and that's not going to be um, qualifying them. Um, we will do a move in inspection and move out inspections. And this is really a lengthy process. This is like going through a property and let's say just it's an average three bedroom, two bath home, 1600 square feet. That alone will take us almost three hours to do because we are that detailed to the point and it's all done on an iPad with an app that documents the condition of the property as the tenant is receiving it. And that is the condition or if not better that the tenant needs to leave the property. We go through as much as even documenting the door frame or the front steps, like anything of that nature, all the way through the entire property, doorknobs, light switches, the plates on the light switches, blinds, everything gets documented because you always have those tenants that will be like, oh, this was here when I got here. Oh, this was here. Or, oh no, this was broken when they really kicked the door in and broke the frame. So we, we document everything for those purposes. Um, rent collection and financial account management. So this is a, a lot of what I do with the company is uh, obviously we have the rents come in, but for you as an investor owner of these properties, I will be giving you a detailed financial statement every month on what has happened with your property. So you'll see the rent coming in and you'll see any expenses going out. And then at the end of the year, you'll get your um, yearly detailed statement but will also be your 1099 as well. And then one of the biggest things too is 24-7 uh, oversight of the property. So again, this is where we have uh, those incidents that come in, which could be the AC is not working or the pipe is busted or something along those lines. We can um, take care of that immediately. Okay. Again, this goes into a little bit more about the tenant screening. 
Um, so we go through all of these and they're nationwide. We do have a contact source too for if anybody has a question about someone coming from international and they don't actually have a social security number. We do have a way to verify some of their background as well. So it's not just needing a social security number in the United States for us to, to research and kind of document who the um, tenants will be. Another thing with us too about this, I wanna explain a little bit further is for a lot of companies, they may, for property management, they may um, take your credit score as how they're going to screen you and how they're going to approve you. And for us, it's a lot more than just a credit score. It's not just if your score is a 650 or above, then great, you get to rent the property. We like to take a whole look at your whole financial picture. So if you're on the job for 20 years and you only make this amount of money, but your um, debt to income is very low and you've never missed a car payment, you haven't missed on your cell phone, and but your score may be a 620, we're gonna take all of that into account in consideration in approving you based on your whole financial picture, not just a credit score. So that, that can frustrate a lot of tenants too and a lot of owners um, in the past that we've dealt with there's been a lot of uh, people that have interviewed us and said, I don't like it when it's just one score or it's just one thing. How do you screen your, your tenants? So a lot of people like this approach instead of just the score based. Next. Next screen. Thank you. So um, property management is not just for a single family home or a condo, we also do, we have small apartment buildings. Um, this one here is eight units. We've gone all the way up to 120. Um, we also work with um, some HOA communities as well. So when you're thinking about, you know, what a property manager does, it's not just um, the single family homes. It can be any investment properties that you have. Next. These are just some pictures of properties that we've been we've been working on. Thank you. So some questions that uh, we get and um, for about property management in general is if I have my property managed, uh, can you save me money? Well, and in, in fact, yes, that's exactly what our purpose is, right? So property managers, we want to help you not only get great tenants into your property, but we want to save you money and give you more money in cash flow. So in most cases, we found that our fees that we charge offset um, our ability to obtain higher rents. And that's something else that a lot of owners don't know about too, is they don't know the market. They don't know, they think, well, if, if it just covers my mortgage and I make a few extra dollars and pay your fee, then that's fine. I've actually had clients who didn't realize that rents in the market were so, and Steve, you can attest to this, they're outrageous. I mean, something that would have been $1,500 a month three years ago is now going for over $2,000 now. So the rental market is just extremely different than it was just a few years. So I've actually been able to bring some clients in making 600 plus more dollars a month because they they thought that they were renting it at a fair price when in fact they were really outshorting themselves a lot. So our services help to protect the investment and the cash flow and that's what you want from a good property manager. Next. Uh, so property management in general, and this is just isn't for us as well, but you wanna make sure that you have someone who is up with the times, meaning there's always rules that are changing, there's always regulations and new legislation going on with real estate in general. So having someone that is educated in property management is what you really need. So for us, yes, we are a member of National Association of Residential Property Managers. We are um, members of NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors and with GTAR, so Greater Tampa Association of Realtors. And for us um, as well, and this is just kind of comparing apples to apples. So if it isn't us that you're looking for for property management, have these questions in place. So you wanna make sure that um, we actually have real estate attorneys drop our leases. 
because they are actually in the know of everything that's going to be going on with these rules and regulations. So we have that as well. So now you're probably thinking, well, who do I know? Or is this something, is it a good fit about property management? So who needs a property management? So we have all those people out there, maybe, maybe you as well, that you have um, a property and you don't wanna be your own landlord or you've realized that it does take a lot of time and you don't have time to deal with it. You don't wanna deal with it. A lot of people um, use us as well because we take out the personal effect of it. So have you ever um, talked to someone who is uh, property is doing their own property management and they're saying, you know, I'm tired of hearing all the excuses. All I get is, you know, my, I, my had to put my dog down this month or my grandma's being sick, she's in the hospital or, you know, I, I missed three days of work because of this. And it, it's all these excuses that you get. So what we like to do is take out that middle person. We, we wanna be, so you have no contact with your renters because now when it's turned into a business, the excuses stop or there's penalties to go for it. So anyone who is doing their own property management, being their own landlord, definitely could use services. Um, and then obviously the investors who have, you know, three or four or five different types of um, single family homes or condos, things of that nature. 